this is the energy vibration lacing oh, the energy vibration reading for the Pisces Sun Moon and Rising sign I want to say welcome this is the month of March this is the month of your birthdays for the Pisces who were born in the month of March this is a wonderful wonderful month for you guys um, this is positive whatever the city about see that transpire in your world it's gonna be good you Pisces especially you Pisces who were born in March the energy in March is a good 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 energy because it is the energy of the hangman you guys also carry the energy of the hangman so this is good you are gonna find you're gonna find your inner light that is going to happen for you and the energy of the Empress comes up so um, this is your materialistic abundance, financial thing, good uh, um, positive energy that com comes up, and this is so positive in your financial world and that sort of a thing. Mar, what is so belonging like here on um, Met Daisy Energy is that a summer coffin, Unicat, even connect Met the Stenbuch Mensen, and that is best well. Um, positive okay so this this is a, this is act um, super look um, Pisces met the stem book that is and relaxed that um, had for a heel long a tight okay it's a positive positive relaxing yes so then by Ava can kijken what's compared to met you in this um, month from the cons door that here happy the energy vibration in the ears the wake and the energy that you have in the ears the wake is that you crack the cess from pentacles this this is good for you um pisces that um have a birthday in the first week because what is going to happen for you guys in this the year is that the empress with the six of pentacles a lot of help a lot of financial help a lot of other elves um, is going to come in because the energy of the Empress is going to help you to bring this in as we look at the energies for the second week uh, you have the energy of uh, um, the princess of wands so the princess of wands is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius this person is um, 25 years and older 25 years and older so it could be 25 uh, until 40 so you have to deal with this um, person in the second week let's look in the third week and see what has happened there come an end to this relationship whoever um, this person is there is going to come an end to this relationship so think about it who is this person and what is going to happen because there is coming to an end to this relationship and as we look at the fourth week we have the eight of ones the eight of ones is a good sign things are going to start going very fast so a lot of help is going to come in very very fast whoever um, that person is whatever that is transpiring in that person life last week you have the Queen of Swords now the Queen of Swords Wow this is an energy where this person is looking out at you this is someone who is an Aquarian a Gemini or a Libra and whatever is happening um, the relationship is going to come to an end okay the relationship is going to come to an end and you are going to be starting a new beginning where you are going to have more positive healthy relationship with people and healthy people in your relationship so this is actually actually good so the first week you have an earth energy second week fire and then the third week transformation which is that which is good transformation then you have fire again and then you have air in the last week so you guys have to deal with all four elements and this is going to be good so let's look and see what is the connection with you know you're giving and receiving help and the you're giving them some of you are giving or receiving help um, towards an um, fire sign person who is uh, uh, 25 between ages 25 and 40 because they're looking at you for help and support 
and there is going to be information that is coming in she could be um, helping you and supporting you or she could be receiving information that is coming in so we're going to look and see where is that gonna go because what is happening is that whatever the help is and whatever information you're receiving we're going to see what exactly is happening in um, the energy from the way second and third week we have the two of Pentacles with the energy of the two of Pentacles what is happening is that um, this lady is so it says she is having um, whatever the financial situation whatever the, the financial connection um, with you and this person is going to come to an end okay and then as we look forward we have uh, um, the energy of love coming up because a whole lot of information a whole lot of information will be coming to you and this is the energy of love um, that is um, happening which um, this could be a lot of information or energy of love that is going towards this uh, um, Queen of Swords this lady um, could be receiving or you know a love going towards her for whatever reason it is so <clears throat> there is definitely um, some transformation information that is uh, happening with her and coming at her and that sort of a thing so a lot of love is really going towards this person and this is going to be good so whatever is happening there's a transformation and a new beginning um, some of you you know are connecting with this person and you love is going to be coming in um, she's receiving or your given love is could be your mother so as we look forward and we're looking at a situation you have the energy of the seven of Pentacles so whatever is happening there is a information that is coming in and uh, this information is going to help you financially whatever the situation whatever that has uh, transpired whatever the information that is coming in it's going to really really help you financially and this is going to be good okay so as we look forward and we're looking at situation we're trying to figure out what is going to happen at the end of the month you have the four of Pentacles so at the end of the month your financial situation whatever that has been transpiring is going to be good because uh, you are having financial stability and balance because you had for first um, the two of Pentacles and now you have the four of Pentacles so um, as, as I'm looking you know you Pisces are going to be having a wonderful um, your money is not is, is going to be balancing out because you whatever that is happening some of you is as if you're handing or um, helping out someone who is a fire sign person it could be your daughter um, but whatever the situation is uh, and they're coming back and giving you love so it's as if it's in a positive circle because um, you are helping them out and then they're coming back and you know saying to you that you you know the love that you feel for them there is also the energy of this uh, woman and you know she could be getting um, comfort from her kids because this is what I'm seeing but it, it, it is as if it's your mother that you're giving love to and comforting so that is really something that is really wonderful whatever um, financial situation that you had whatever situation that was transpiring in your life um, this is going to be um, positive and good this is going to be excellent because um, whatsoever is happening and was happening around you you are um, realizing and seeing the truth of a situation with a lot of people and a lot of situation and you are uh, taking a stand back and looking at uh, how the ground is and you are going to decide for yourself you know that you're just gonna give uh, what you can you're going to give help when you can how you can because it's as if you felt as if 
this is the right thing to do and um, it's going to be good because what is going to happen is that you are going to realize that you have made the right decision to help whoever this person is because um, you, you know within yourself that um, the help is going to come back to you some day okay some of you are really um, letting your parents know that you love them because I see a lot of you guys really connecting with your mom whatever the situation is in and, and saying you know I'm so happy um, you know thank you for the help and the guidance um, that you have been given and this is just perfectly wonderful so it's a really nice setting that you guys have because a lot of information especially in the first week a lot of information is going to be coming in and these information you're going to be seeing and um, the transformation of whatever the situation that has been taken place okay let's look at the love energies let's look at the love energies in this month for the queen the latest uh, all the latest um, that is good that's gonna be happy there's gonna be a strong foundation and a lot of extended people coming in okay <laughs> this is so funny okay for um, the ladies over the age of 40 um, you're going to be connecting with soulmates and twin flame from past relationships. They're going to be coming back in your life. Um, it could be new. It could be you know relationships that you have been in, and now they're coming back in your life. So old love is coming around, and you know some of you are going to be going back to relationships that you have left behind and you're gonna find out you know I think that is my soulmate or twin flame and I you know you're letting them back in your life and this is going to be good because it's gonna work out very very positive so the that's for the ladies who are um, that's for the ladies who are um, 40 and older okay so we are looking at the men who are 40 and older and you are going to have this wonderful wonderful happiness with your love life so thank god thank god for you men thank god for you pisces who are older it's going to be wonderful no one has received this card so this is just so good for you pisces so the, the pisces men over the age of 40 you're going to be very very much happy in your relationship and this is going to be good this is going to be positive because no one else has received this energy it is positive because what you're doing is that you're trying to keep the positive vibration because you guys are very very loving for the latest 18 until 40 you're going to bring stability in your relationship because um, you're just loving what is happening and you feel as if you're in the right relationship and you are quite comfortable in your relationship and good things are happening for you so this is um, very very positive so for love for you guys is wonderful for the young men 18 until 40 you are having a lot of suitors oh my god a lot of suitors are coming in your life whatever is happening you guys are going to have a lot of women to pick from um, whoever your choice is you are going to have a lot of suitors they're going to be there and you can pick choose and refuse it's as if you know the song um, in the candy shop by 50 cents you guys are going to be in the candy shop. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's like one of my favorite songs from 50. I'm in the candy shop. Okay, so you guys are going to be in the candy shop. <laughs> it's going to be it's going to be fantastic for um, you Pisces, you young um, Pisces men. 
you are going to be so indulgent in the candy shop because there's going to be a whole lot of different kind of I'm snoopy to, you know, really, really good test out. So congratulations, you little Casanovas out there. Love is going to be wonderful. Okay. So um, let's move forward and look at the love energies. Let's move forward and let's look at what is transpiring in your money world now. So what is going to be happening in your financial world? Let's look forward and see what is going to be happening in the Pisces financial world. What is going to be happening in the Pisces financial world? Okay. But I'm going to explain this to you. New love is coming in for a lot of you Pisces out there. New love, wonderful new love is going to be coming in for um, you Pisces out there. It's going to be positive. It's going to be good love. So remember that most of you Pisces are going to connect with the energy of the Capricorn woman. Um, this is going to be good because a lot of love is going to be coming in. So we have the energy with your financial situation burden. Okay, you have you have a burden, you know. But whatever this burden is with your financial situation, um, is as if you know there is you have to be helping someone else, and you feel as if you're depleting your own financial situation. So um, be aware of this and call upon the universal angels and guides to help that person too, so that they can help themselves. Okay, sometimes people are in a rut and do what you can do to help them if even you feel as if your financial situation is in depleting once you can help someone the help will come back to you okay a six of cups um there is a situation where it's as if um in a past life this person has helped you and you have come back in this life to help this person so it's as if um and this is what a lot of people do not understand when um you know people take things you know uh take things or you know injustice take things and that sort of a thing especially money and that sort of a thing in this lifetime they have to repay the karma sorry and by repaying that karma what is going to happen is that this is a karmatic situation your you know your financial situation is brought on by a karmatic situation and then in third week whatever your financial situation is going to get better in the third week okay because uh, your wishes and dreams about your financial situation is going to come true so like in the third and last week your financial situation is going to get extremely extremely better and good things are going to be coming out for you so this is um, very wonderful very positive and you know no matter what is happening your financial situation is going to be good because um, good news is going to come towards the end of the month and it's not for the people who get monthly pay but it's going to be um, very good let's move on and see what is happening um, for all this what is happening um, this is good because um, there are positive good situations our source is one of love not condemnation isn't this wonderful our source is one of love and not condemnation when you pay attention to the way you feel and deliberate to choose more thoughts that feel good while you think them you will begin to recognize the nature of your um, borders and non-physical desire the majority of uh, a negative emotion that you feel are not because the subject of your thought is wrong but instead because you are at a consideration of something that your source doesn't condemn.
your source is one of love not one of condemnation okay so this is good to know because a lot of people um you know will feel as if their source is just out of balance and that sort of a thing and uh, you know they will say and do things that sometimes you know maybe it's not um in the good way but whatever that is happening um because i'm seeing it here for people you know it's as if you know things have said and done and that sort of a thing and it's 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 gonna be okay all in one all in one and isn't this good all in one so whatever is transparent the energy of uh, the eight and you have another eight here so 88 is going to be your energy vibration and 88 is letting you know that your financial situation is going to be balanced out all systems are go so this is going to be good all systems are go whatever you do right now do not hold back this is the perfect time to give it everything you have got for every inch you move towards your dream the universe will shake and play your uh, and play your ends uh, jump on in if you are ready so um the number eight energies and with that message 88 is a positive positive messages whatever is happening 88 is a very very positive message so this is good we have um, you know just success around you and this is going to be positive so it seems to be a very very positive month for you Pisces be how from some things the energy of the Sun comes out this is beautiful this is wonderful energy to of the Sun is a good good positive energy and this is going to be taking you to a place where um, success is going to come in because um, the energy of the Sun is going to change whatever that has been going on and bring forward good positive news and this is going to be good so ladies and, and gentlemen I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back and we will speak um, um, next week let me see if I've done everything um, you know and don't forget you people out there um, most of you are going to connect with the Capricorns or it could be a Taurus or a Virgo person but um, be aware it's going to be okay and it's going to be good okay um, whatever is transparent in your life with your financial situation you are going to overcome this and this is going to be good so you have no um, need to worry about anything okay I want to say please like share these videos and thumbs up and um, please listen to the general readings because maybe there are information that didn't come out in this reader in general okay namaste <laughs>